This is Bumper to Bumper TV. The latest design trend for the Jeep brand is a throwback. The Gladiator takes the idea of the redoubtable Wrangler and literally stretches the point. In this instance, there's once again a Jeep pickup truck in the market. How long has it been since we've seen one? Well, the last pickup truck that we made was the Comanche from 86 to 92, and it's been 27 years without one since. So we're finally here. That's right. Nearly three decades have passed since Jeep built a truck body vehicle. Visually, there's no mistaking the connection to the Wrangler and the serious off-roading platforms that preceded the Gladiator. From the driver's seat, everything is where you expect it to be in terms of the four-wheel drive transaxle and the transmission. Jeep did stick with the tried and true V6 engine choices of the 3.6 liter Penstar and the 3 liter diesel. The Gladiator not only carries over the current technology offer in the Wrangler, but goes a step further with this a front-mounted camera which comes in handy when doing extreme off-roading. But what is getting Jeep Faithful all lathered up are what's being done in terms of dimensions. Um, it has a 19-inch longer wheelbase, a unique frame. It's 30 inches longer overall. It uses rear control arms from a Ram 1500. That package means it can handle up to 1,600 pounds in the cargo bed and tow as much as a 7,500-pound trailer. We get a few minutes in the Gladiator at a presentation in Atlanta, and then some more seat time at the Fiat Chrysler Proving Grounds in Michigan. The good news is it has good road managers on paved roads and allows for a seating position that lets a driver actually see the end of the hood. For off-road fanatics, it has a tall enough stance to forward waterways as deep as 30 inches. Since Jeep is a leading global brand for Fiat Chrysler, it will be interesting to see if this uniquely North American style offering will resonate with buyers overseas. This is Greg Morrison.